Hello, it is Matt, and welcome to episode 71 of Gross Oversimplifications, where I talk about how to do stuff to your guitar yourself. It has been a while since I said those words out loud, but I'm here. We're back. Um, I don't have time to do a, a giveaway stuff this week, but I do have time to, to, to talk to you for a little bit. Um, and it's been nice that a couple of you have reached out and said, Hey, it's, it's great that you're making videos again. Um, makes you feel a bit warm and fuzzy. I'm always a little bit warm and fuzzy, but, um, it's nice. It's nice. But I thought this week, maybe, maybe I can, I can help dial back a bit of that goodwill, um, by spending the three minutes talking to you about screwdrivers, eh? um, specifically cross-headed screwdrivers, um, mainly because I've spent the week extracting mangled screws out of things, and it's clear to me that maybe you don't know the difference or you don't care about the difference, and if you don't care about the difference, that's fair enough because it's boring, but here it is. I did get a comment um, six months ago. Um, somebody asking me if I used something called a JIS screwdriver on um, on Asian guitars. Um, and the answer was, sure, I do. I do. I've got many. Um, but ever since ever since they said it, um, I've pulled them out a, a bit more often. And I've found that they actually they fit pretty well. Um, so, like, the deal in guitar land is that uh, manufacturers are not very good, okay? Um, they don't really care about the tolerances. This isn't, you know, machining stuff. This isn't hospital-grade stuff. The, the, the tolerances in your wood screws and whatever are a bit iffy, okay? Um, so the general standard for iffy things is the Phillips. Okay. And the, you look at the head and it's actually quite smooth and the, the angles aren't really specific. Um, and it means it fits a lot of things pretty well. Okay. And when you move up to the Japanese industrial standard ones, um, you find that, you know, like stuff like, uh, car engines and things will have, have these. And you know that it's a JAS because there's a little, you know, next to the thing, there will be a little dot. And then you can go, ah, oh, that's JAS. I'd better get the right thing. It's the angles on its head are just a bit more severe and, and they've got little, um, so sort of the edges are more defined. And you do find, or I've found that they, they're, they're actually fitting in Phillips head things a lot better than the Phillips. So if you care about doing things right, get a set of these as well as a, a good set of Phillips. And just see which one works best for the scenario and use that. Um, I recently got this really cool one that's got like teeth. <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, it's really good for like rusted out screws. Um, the other type that you have to be aware of um, is posi drive. Um, and that is the same sort of screw thing, but it's got a little, um, little weird notched square bit in the middle. Um, find it on battery cases and things like that. Um, do not use a Phillips head. To adjust a posi, do not use a posi to adjust a Phillips head. Um, that's really important. Uh, the other thing is like the uh, the fender truss rod that is this cross. Oh, that's my new thing. Um, that's not any of these. Don't use Phillips on that, um, or you'll screw it up. 